cat Mew, though. Um, so I believe in the, one of the reasons that this matchup is pretty uh, tricky is Hacking cannot use his side B to recover because uh, the Hydro Pump Water will actually like knock out the power. Really? I believe that's how it used to be, and I believe that is still the case. Meaning that Pac-Man, who normally has like so many you know infinite ways to recover, it feels like he can actually end up being kind of limited against uh, Greninja. Yeah, it's, it's showing that right here. The offstage pressure is coming straight from. Oh, oh that two frames. That he had no legend ability right there. Oh, okay, that would yeah. do it. Um, and not only that, like there are character-specific things that make it really difficult for uh, for Pac-Man, but character, but like player-wise, just Venia is this aggressive powerhouse that just gets inside of Suji's zone, breaks into his head, just takes anything that isn't nailed down. But Oof. okay, immediately dash back and throwing the bell like right in his face, and that's enough time to. Fully get it, get a full F smash, which is randomly so strong. But you know, it's that okay. Was the cutest. Never mind. I was like the cutest up B. I was about to say, just like lightly hits Venia for like two damage. Yeah, you know, what I love about the spring is that because I was talk, I remember talking to Sinji about Pac-Man changes in the first let's big, uh, let's make moves, and he was like, yeah, the while everyone is calling the having the spring having a hitbox. Uh, a nerf, it's actually a buff because you can use it to interrupt projectiles, and we know that uh, uh, Venya <laughs> likes to throw out water shurikens pretty a lot, but he's also using it as a way to interrupt the incredibly fast dash that Greninja has, and forcing his approach option to be from the air at a reactable distance. It's just kind of, it's, it's the little things about the character that just put Sinji above a whole lot of other Pac-Man mains in the city. Oh yeah, and I mean, a cut above is what I'd call what he's doing right now. That was amazing. Such and a trap. Just, just the amount of options covered right there. Just I, we don't even know. Like there is, there were like 17 other things that were covered by what he did that we didn't even know how it would have happened. You know? But uh, I don't think anyway, he could have done anything. Then he uh. He was up the stock really quickly to the point where he doesn't have a chance to get a lead or anything like that. Oh, wow, that neutral Just air. Enough. Yeah. That neutral air is so quick. Uh, I believe it's frame, it's frame three. I believe it is also frame three. And Venia just probably wasn't expecting that. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, since Hydrant has an action hitbox, Venia can just counter it. Yeah. And zoom. Uh, this also works for uh, characters, I think. Lucario can do it as well. Lucario can do it, but I think uh, Incineroar can just walk up and revenge it. That's hilarious. I don't don't quote oh me on that God. one. <laughs> I'm just imagining Incineroar just screaming at this Hydra <laughs> as it gives him power. Why can't that character be top tier? I want to see That would be more. so fun. It would be w really, really toxic though. <laughs> Imagine a meta where it's just like... Pac-Man is top tier, and the only counterplay is to play in center. <laughs> oh, that's a weird world. A cool one, though, because it's like two characters you never see. I mean, keep also keep in mind we are in the alternate universe where Palutena is a top tier. Yeah, it's a complete <laughs> flip of the, flip of the paradigm, and not a great one. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But anyway, so we are on the last stock here. And he grabs Venia the apple. Been, yeah, Venia has been struggling. To find an answer to Sinji's wall, his traps, his setups. Game one, I'd say, there were a couple of really important moments. You know, Sinji getting those early stocks with a bell, getting huge damage combos. But when Sinji is able to get those huge moments, you see that beyond that, consistently goes so far with it. You know, getting that early stock lead, he's able to do damage, give himself a buffer. Getting that one big combo means that now he's forcing Venia to approach, and he's able to limit his options. And so, Venia just can't give Sinji those big moments to begin with. He has to, like, he can't just, like, those, like... He basically needs to be dying at, like, 150 of stock, you know? Yeah. Wait, like, I... Pac-Man can always do that because he can play... 
you can either play like really in your face and get these long combo strings, or you can play really, really slow and get like get out of shield with hitboxes and get out of disadvantage with like with dropping hydrant and getting the little bu uh, the boost from that. And uh, apparently, Sinji's feeling aggressive today <laughs> because that was what like a 35% string. Oh. You know, it's funny. Sinji's playing a little bit. Um the way that Venia likes to try and play, where he'll like stand still, and then all of a sudden he starts moving, and then he goes yeah. still, and then he starts moving. That feels like what Shinji is kind of doing here. You know, when he's off stage, you'll notice he's not really. Uh, that's silly. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, but the brilliance. Oh, there's just out of it. Shinji is an engineer, man. Did you notice? I, I'm sorry. There's so many things to talk about in that one little tiny exchange where he went to the ledge and then because Venia touched the trampoline he magneted to the ledge in that way. I, I'm sorry. Whatever. Okay. I'm, no, that was a little bit of like game fanboy. I, I, I tell everyone, every time I watch a Pac-Man play, I, whoever I'm talking with at that time, it's like I learn something new about either Pac-Man or the game anytime I watch Pac-Man. I mean, earlier tonight we saw the interaction with like Falco Uppy yeah. and Pac-Man Hydra. Every time, something's new, something's different, and it's always interesting. Like Pac-Man's his owner, and maybe he's not the greatest to fight against, but by God, oh. is he interesting? I like that it slows down for the Matrix air dodge. Oh, he didn't get Wait. the drag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like he. <gasps> what a death. You know, that happens for Kamikaze, too. Like, he's charging at the Kamikaze, but you can still act, so you can just spot dodge it. Uh, fun facts. Alright, Sinji, you're playing Pac-Man. He's going for, like, late falling up air stuff. <laughs> oh, he's down a stock. When did he lose his stock? Uh, then he did a kooky thing earlier. When we were, like, fanboying about something that I don't know. Okay. Man. Well, being in the lead is something for, great for Venia. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so funny that for a match that on paper feels like it should be, you know, very, you know, more reserved and patient and, you know, zoner versus, you know, person trying to get in, things just disappear. Just like, you'll have moments of inactivity and then just explosions. Oh, this is huge. Because uh, uh, now Pac-Man can't... Well, now he can't. But while Greninja was holding the item, he couldn't spawn anything. So... <gasps> that was brilliant! What a ghost. And a good tech, and he can... Yeah, he, f he challenged because he fell back on the spring, which would make it easy to recover. He, yeah, he w dropped down with back air because he didn't need to up B again if the straight platform... The, the, yeah, the trampoline was right below him. That's just... The, the tiny little... The, even though it makes no difference in the game, you just see the awareness and the intelligence that uh, Sinji has. And it would it could have been something like huge because if he now he doesn't have to worry about recovering, he could have dropped down with something like neutral air or something or he lingered with back air. Like those are well, hitboxes that those are hitboxes that Venia has to avoid now. It's a, it's about like challenging. Also, I'm pretty sure if late back air connected, it could have also comboed into the upbeat. Oh, that's neat. Well, because if you think about it, like you know the late back air, yeah. all the all that gets canceled as soon as he touches the trampoline. I mean, yeah, no, any animation just immediately becomes up. Yeah. Oh, well, the cherry can't go anywhere. <laughs> All right. But Sinji has been kind of just a little bit behind this entire game, it feels like. Yeah, he's just... just a, The damage output that Venya has been having is uh, a little... Just a little bit hard to fight, though, trading the, the up air with the neutral air. Oh, again, the counter, that substitute actually paying dividends for Venia. It wasn't really working out earlier, but he wasn't getting punished for it. But now it's actually a big difference maker. 89, 88% already on Sinji. And, ooh, yeah, it's like unpunishable. Like, there's yeah. nothing that Pac-Man can really do about it. Okay. Down aired him and he teched his own trip. Hydrant as he was spawning his Hydrant. Grab the bell and pressured shield with the neutral air. Like, killing two birds with one stone. But now he doesn't have the side B anymore. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Just a little bit of water. 
brilliant job right there, knowing that he didn't have to go for a risky forward smash or down smash. Just a little toe, like a little flick, you know? What percent was that? 130? Okay, yeah, fair enough. I don't know, it's just, I, it's weird to see F-Tilt's kill in general. Stop picking FD Battlefield! I'm about to yell at these guys! Stop the Eight million stages! And you pick Battlefield to FD if I... <sighs> I'm really upset, guys. But multi-man smash. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick regular. Oh, it's dual zone now. <laughs> oh, he's about, to, he's about to fight. Oh no, this is targets. Okay, I didn't see the song. Like it's. Weird, because, okay, so Pac-Man's one of the few characters that not only is all his aerials useful out of shield, but he can can do two aerials in one short hop. So the amount of shield pressure that whenever Venius gets put in shield, he's regretting it immediately, because it'll be a fair into a back air or a fair into a dare, like something that is always just going to be like, I need to get out of here now. Although Venia kind of, it's a bit of a meme, he's notorious for not liking shield as a button. He instead loves to opt, you know, for grander movement. Also substitutes as his friggin' dudes is gone. Get this, just clean the floors. Like, Greninja's littering, and it's like, I'm putting out this water to mop, like, come on, man. <laughs> oh, he hit him with a shuriken. Uh-oh. He can go back down there, though. Oh, that was so good for Sinji. I don't even remember where it was, but he absolutely did. I wonder if he can see it, but we can't, or if it was just too low. Uh, I'm pretty sure, no, I'm pretty sure the trampoline was below the screen. He just knew the exact location that it was so he could go back to it. What awareness. He used his mind's eye. <laughs> I think I got him. Alright, that up throw is going to do it. Pac-Man, one of the few characters in the game with no depth screen, feels weird. Uh, you ever notice that? No, I didn't. He, he does terrifying. not scream when he dies off the top. It's just a silent, you know, uh, just uh, begrudging acceptance. Even Game Watch has a death screen. Yeah, he goes bam, bam, bam. There's another character who has a uh, no death screen. Mega Man, I believe, has no death oh, screen. Oh, okay. Man, the '80s. They didn't. They Weird didn't, time. Weird time. People didn't like scream warmers. When they died. Stoic time. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> 80s was the quiet time. <laughs> Yo, did he just actually combo the... <laughs> he comboed out a spring into up tilt, which got to late up air back air. That was actually so, so good. Oh. God, like... Just, no, I'm not gonna land here. You thought I was gonna land here? Psych. <laughs> okay, right. yeah, he's not Sinji's chasing the dare. slowing things down using a lot more shield. we just... Acknowledging the idea that Benny is not going to try and grab him. Benny doesn't go for many... He goes for more pivot grabs, which is a lot easier to see. Okay, well, you know... Well, no, he, did, he went for a grab, but not to challenge a shield. Right. Um, the thing that Benny does is that instead of, uh, instead of like, going in for a grab to make people stop shielding, he just, like, lets them shield. And then their shield starts to get smaller and smaller, and then people are like, oh, no, fair. Yeah. You can shield poke. I mean, fair is totally safe, and... There he is, dropping, dropping down with back air to interrupt before the actual hitbox came out where it's vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, that move does have super armor once it starts moving. Once it starts, yeah. But before that, once he like, eats it, it. absolutely be okay. Once he eats it, we're talking about the pellet, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He once he eats the pellet, the armor comes on. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. When I eat, I can't be flinched. He's Pi Pi the Pac Man. Power Pellet. Man. Pac Man Man. Back wow, there. what a good grab. That grab that is so great as like basically a disjointed way to catch landings specifically against Greninja. You know, the way he short hops, the way that he'll just land a little bit too far away for you to really do anything about it. Whoa. He buffered that air dodge knowing that the, knowing that the counter was going to come out. So, and he finally managed to, to punish it somewhat. Like it wasn't directly punished, but it, well, it lost in stage yeah. position. Which technically, the counter has been doing, but for the most part, like Greninja landing, is just so hard to actually catch. You know, if he's yeah. above you, especially if you're a Pac-Man, like how are you actually gonna deal with a character who has one of the best fall and uh, air speeds in the game? 
time to get out of jail free. Pac-Man standing on his hydrant. Oh, what, what an air dodge! Read. What an air dodge read. I mean, that was an air dodge. It was an air dodge, and he died for it. What? An air dodge? What? Oh. It's so, too, yeah. Sinji too many now, now. Yeah, Sinji now taking some time to think. Same bench. He did get knocked into losers pretty early, I believe, right? Really upset. Yeah. Who? By who? Huh? By who? No, I'm really upset. By the, these two. <laughs> because they're going back to a battle for <laughs> An FD belt. <laughs> I'm so upset. They just really want target practice. He's like, even though only. And they want to. Oh, and they no, want to yeah, see. They don't want to get disrupted by the background of FD. There are lots of stages. There are lots of Omega stages that you don't have to worry about the background moving. Correct. Flat zone. Omega flat zone. The background doesn't move. It's 2D. It's just, it's just, it's just sticks. But there's no good music on Flat Zone. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? Flat Zone Remix 2? I go to sleep to that every night. That's I don't even know what that is. I don't even think that's a real song track. <laughs> oh, okay. that time Venia tries to go down deep and punish it like he did before. But just slightly different spacing from Sinji means that he actually turned that situation around. And now Sinji's still not necessarily in the greatest position. I mean, you know, he's at about 98%. But nonetheless... Yeah, it, a lot of this, a lot of these games and a lot of these interactions are coming down to like both of these players realizing that oh, in order for this that worked again, <laughs> in order for this to work, we need in order for me to like get ahead and get that advantage, I just need to make a little adjustment, and that little change is enough to turn the tide just ever so slightly. Uh -oh. Didn't reset the spring. Alright, I like the idea behind hitting the uh, high jump right there. You know, when he does, it extends the hitbox from the down smash, meaning that uh, it just covers his jump a lot better. Usually when I see Sinji do that, it, uh, something like that, it's because he's trying to cover someone's jump. But uh, then he is just spending a more time on the ledge itself. Uh, yeah, it, makes, it makes sense since the hitboxes are the ghosts. So as long and they're active for as long as they're out. So by extending them, by extending the ghosts being out, it just makes it a whole lot more dangerous to do anything around them. Almost. Wow, Almost. the slide on that upbeat just enough for uh, Venia to avoid that really big punish. But Sinji is in a great position right now. 99% yeah. on Venia, and it seems to just be growing. Up throw will finally even up the stock count, but you what know, a great Venia, Sinji's Venia. Just, so hard when he has a lead and he can play more comfortably what he wants to do it feels like you're no longer playing the same game as him yeah he's like he's thinking two steps ahead and that's why <laughs> he's playing smash and you're playing fruit ninja with no thumbs yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. What? Oh, what i mean the ninja cut the fruit <laughs> oh that is true <laughs> this is a fruit ninja oh man I, what percent was he? Just that edge guard was oh. so absolutely brutal, and it's looking like that might be. He died at 63. While Venia's sitting comfortably at 174. Alright, yeah, that down smash. Dramatic <laughs> irony. <laughs> Just making him a little bit less comfortable. Uh, keep in mind that this is. If Venia takes this stock right here, he moves on in losers, where he then gets to face off against Dill in loser semis. Right. Uh, Sinji's on. But Sinji, well, Sinji has to win two games. He has to take this stock first, and then there's an entire game five he has to go through. Then he doesn't want any nonsense with the game five. He's not. He's not looking to get to another game five with another like awkward character. Yes, that's true. He did just get knocked into losers by Vivi. Uh, Thank you, Vivi. Uh, playing. Of all characters, Mario. His history. He knows where it is. Oh, so wasn't able to get it the second time now. 154 though, and whoa! Oof. That's a that's a beyond an oof. It's not only he got cut and then hit by a giant flying metal hydrant. 
or a giant flying cartoon hydrant if you're being facetious. Oh no. Okay, oh, wait, no. there it is. 